Very seasonal spring day today. We've got temperatures in the 70s, not too hot, not too cool, mm -hmm. and yet it feels like something's coming our way, Cedric. Yeah. Is it getting more humid? Is, it, is that happening? It is slightly okay. more humid, and that's why we have a few more of those clouds out there in the sky, and why we're going to see more of that as we go throughout this evening. The moisture levels, first and the lower levels, are increasing, and then as we go into the evening hours, we'll see that starting to increase in the upper levels, and eventually that's going to lead to some rain. But right now, pretty nice out there. 79 degrees in Chattanooga, 77 in Dalton. We've got 77 in Cleveland and 77 degrees in Murphy. So everyone kind of in the mid to upper 70s. As we take a look at the weather map, you can see a couple of scattered clouds out there in place across the area. But notice we've got some breaks in these clouds. So yes, we are seeing some sunshine. We're kind of sandwiched in between two weather systems today. Of course, the first system is actually this big area of high pressure off the southeast coast. That actually is providing us with the warm temperatures and also a little moisture off the Atlantic Ocean. So that's why we're seeing those clouds bubbling up today. The clouds with our next storm system is out to the west. That's associated with this cold front. And you can see we had a big complex of storms, the last of that big severe weather event going down into the Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't look like much now along the Mississippi River, but this is going to reorganize and move our way later this evening and tonight, and that will bring us increasing rain chances. So as we take a look at future cast, you'll be able to see this afternoon those clouds will be in and out of the area, but here comes the more widespread cloud cover ahead of our next storm system by 10 11 o'clock tonight. So I think if you have any plans outside over the next couple of hours, you're going to be a OK it's as we get towards 10 11 o'clock. We'll start to see some rain approaching first along the Cumberland Plateau, northeast Alabama, and then we'll see that kind of moving, especially north of Chattanooga during the overnight hours. But I think we all kind of get in on some of that widespread rainfall as we head towards your Tuesday morning. So now's the time to kind of think ahead. Plan ahead for a wet Tuesday morning commute, and you know how the roads get around here. When we get a little water on the roads, especially after it's been a while, anything that kind of wets the ground tends to slick up the roadways a little bit and cause us some issues. So just keep that in mind. Plan for some extra commute time tomorrow morning. Now, the rain will start to taper off as we go into the afternoon hours, but I'm not going to completely rule out a couple of isolated downpours redeveloping until that front moves through, which is not going to be until Tuesday evening. So throughout the day tomorrow, off and on chances of scattered showers and rumbles, but the best chance will be during the morning commute. I'm not expecting widespread severe weather, but some downpours definitely possible. So as we look at your hour by hour chance of rain after midnight, notice that really starts to ramp up, especially as we get towards five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, and that will last through about eight, nine, ten in the morning before we start to see those chances slowly dwindling down. How much? Well, areas off to our west towards Nashville and Huntsville are likely to pick up about an inch or two inches of rain, but I think as that moves a little closer to us, those chances will uh, dissipate a little bit. So I think on average, about a quarter of an inch to half an inch here in the Tennessee Valley. We'll get a break for a couple of days, but then another front moves our way as we get towards the weekend and kind of stalls out near the area. So we're going to see off and on periods of scattered showers and rumbles going right on into the weekend and into the beginning of next week. So a more active weather pattern across the area that could lead to higher rain chances. So a good chance of rain tomorrow, especially the first half of the day. We get that break Wednesday and the Thursday and then more rain chances increasing for the weekend heading into next week. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast. Again, plan on a wet Tuesday morning commute tapering off in the afternoon. And once it dries out, look at that. By the middle of the week, guys, we're going to be approaching 90 degrees across the area as we get towards your Wednesday and the Thursday before cooler again and wetter for the weekend.